Good morning. How are you? It's a uh, absolutely gorgeous morning here. I am in a new spot. Well, we are in a new spot. Um, we're at this place called Rude Creek. It's up in the uh, Walter Fitzgerald Reservation area in <clears throat> Alabama, Georgia line. I mean, it's right on the line. The line of the state goes right through the lake system. But yeah, kind of a kind of a somber morning. Uh, Bev, part of the caravan who we've been traveling with for six weeks, had to uh, start making his annual migration back up north. He's a uh, he's a syruper. He makes um, like authentic Vermont syrup. Does it as a hobby, but he makes enough. And uh, you know, he gave me some on the trip. And man, let me tell you, you the difference between true Vermont syrup and the stuff you buy in the store, it's hands down. It's a lot sweeter, so uh, a lot less goes a long way. But yeah, he had to go back, and uh, you know, it was uh, it's 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 very it's very breath. It's very refreshing. I want to use the term refreshing that um, you know, three guys that uh, complete strangers, and in this day and age and in this climate, could get along with each other for six weeks. You know, and have a have a really good time, smoke and joke and laugh, and and uh, you know, and we could talk politics and religion and all that stuff. And not once did anybody get triggered or hurt or or offended or anything. We just we respect each other's opinions, you know. And and let's face it, and and in life, the only thing that we have is free will that can't be taxed, told, or taken from us. And uh, you know, and, and an opinion is something that is formed over experiences in life, your own life. So that's how you form your opinion. So they, an opinion isn't fact or right or wrong, it's an opinion. And, 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 and to have one is, is really the only thing that we have. And it boils down to like being able to have freedom of speech and freedom of thought. And three guys to get along so well. I mean, it was, it was really nice. He left a, he really, he left a note this morning, you know, but we also got to say goodbye because I was up and uh, yeah. And at the very end of the note, he says, this isn't goodbye, this is just see you later. So, um, really cool guy. But anyways, yeah, we're here at Rude Creek and we're down to two in the caravan and, um, you know, we'll see where it goes from here. Looking to do some, uh, do some exploring and in Georgia and in, in Alabama still. Uh, we got a few, I got a few weeks left before I got to go back to work anyway, so I'm going to try to make the most of it. I'm just going to enjoy this for now. Pretty sweet. So, all right, man. Be good. Really, really cool spot on the Catahoochee River in Georgia. Georgia, Alabama line goes right down the middle of this river. Beautiful spot. So here we are hiking on the edge of the Connect, uh, well, I don't know what it's called, the Cataloochee River in Georgia. And we were told of a spot that has nine Indian burial grounds, mounds, and here's one of them right there. Really cool.
control burns, a very necessity of keeping the forest healthy and also a scar when you come here after a burn. Definitely a very surreal feeling though, knowing that, you know, what took place out here 300 years ago. You, you got a weird feeling? Not a weird, not a weird feeling, but a, like a, just a, this is, a, this is a, really a sacred place feeling, you know? Like I feel like I'm in a graveyard. I don't know how many I counted. A little fire here in the woods. <laughs> Got a little fire going. Here's our camper. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> yeah. Holy Christ, the woods are on fire. There's another one over in there. Yeah. Small one there. Yeah. We'll be cooking some hot dogs a little later. <laughs>